at work one time for the podcast that I do, I recorded an entire episode um, and realized that I never turned on the right input. Mm. And so it was recording from my laptop speaker and it sounded like literal shit. But I just didn't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, was yeah. like, I don't know what was wrong with the mics that day. They just kind of sounded like, bad. You guys did not project your voices. Yeah, you guys mic. were talking way too soft. You guys That's did all on terrible. You. Yeah, that was all on you. Oh my God, so bad. <laughs> no, it was actually bad. Because I've done that. Yeah. I did that with the one episode we did. Yeah, when we did it like away. Yeah. You sent it to me and I was like, I don't know. It kind of sounds weird. And you're like, I, it was plugged in. And then I was like, I, I just think you never hit the thing. You're like, oh, <laughs> I don't think I did either. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it. I mean, like, yeah, it just happens. I'm going to say it. Have sex with a Scorpio. I could glue bridge your dad. I'm naked. Hold on. <laughs> we will be flicking the beans to that. <laughs> but she's tatted and I take meth. Is somebody in your house right now? But you know what? Fuck your ass. Yeah, I had sex last night. You can make your own money. You can literally have your own job of your dreams. You can own your own house. You can own your own car. You can pay all your fucking own bills. So what is that man? That man has sex and a best friend. That's it. I heard nothing but the truth. Yeah. We're here now. Speaking of work, this week I had my work Christmas party. How is that? I think it's like, it's an interesting thing. Like hanging out with your coworkers outside of the office mm -hmm. like it's it's weird i'm gonna be honest it's weird because in my head i'm like oh you're just like the engineer guy you're the accountant guy and then leo's going <laughs> ham out there i don't know what he's doing but it's just like it's an interesting like uh social setting and it almost feels like performative mm -hmm. like i don't know like i felt like i was being like a weird version of myself yeah I had um, a friend who went to her boyfriend's Christmas party last night and they didn't know that like at a Christmas party you like kind of dress nice for like a yeah a holiday Christmas party for work. So they wore ugly Christmas sweaters and jeans and they left because they felt so uncomfortable. <laughs> Honestly, though, I think that's like, I don't know, like there where was it at? Like a restaurant or... I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know where it was because I did, I just was dying at the fact that they were like, she was like sending Snapchats of them like just so embarrassed that they like. <laughs> yeah, no, ours was definitely like a little bit nice, but not like super No, but formal. I feel like for like a holiday party, yeah, like you kind of dress up and it's like not your like everyday attire for work. Right. Like everyone. Yeah, because you like see everybody like outside of work. But yeah. it's like, yeah, Christmas parties for work are weird. Thank God I don't have to do that shit. Yeah. Thank God. It was fun, but yeah, it was definitely weird. And then I ended up going out with some of my coworkers after, and that was like really fucking weird. It was fun, but it was like very strange. Just also like not your style of people to like go out no. with. Because like you're very just like, nah, when you go out. Sorry for all, yeah. all your listeners. <laughs> yeah. So like, I, yeah, that was really. You're like, let's fucking go. Yeah. Like, just like wild. And like I've seen this bitch like break dance on the ground of dogwood i've seen her like play frogger in the street and pretend to pole dance on light posts and yeah do crazy shit and it's just like that's like not co-worker like no it's approved. not work appropriate no yeah, that's not, not like, at all yeah, not work approved. yeah it's weird and it's weird because like they're all friends outside of the office but yeah. like in my head i'm like no you're just my co-workers right so like having to like i don't know and i definitely like probably embarrassed myself a bit but i'm be honest i don't really remember a lot of it so Ooh, it was that bad yeah. okay so yesterday um emily and i meet up like we normally meet up like once during the weekend to like plan and like you know kind of have like, i'm a like camouflaged in the couch right now because <laughs> i'm like the same cut like i look like the pi like a pillow like a third pillow <laughs> I, do. Oh I just looked God. in the I just looked in the uh like the viewfinder on the camera and I was like what the fuck <laughs> that's just because your color of your shirt I that's know so funny. you actually do <laughs> poor planning but it's okay <clears throat> typically we plan like one day of like the week of like things we want to accomplish for the week and you know topics or that kind of stuff yeah yesterday we met up and also I was sick all week I um I've been sick for a good two weeks now and apparently I have tonsillitis and an ear infection Ew. so I had to get shots in my ass yeah. That was an event. Um, so, yeah, Emily and I are, we're also both on the struggle bus yesterday. Yeah. And she's like, God, I, 
I just can't do this. I'm like, what'd you do? She's like, smashed my hand. She's like, smashed her hand in the door. She was like, in the last struggling. time I went out. Well, I guess Halloween was the last time we went out. But the time before that was your birthday. And I broke my fucking foot. We don't, did we go out for your birthday? Yeah. No, we just went out to dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was casual. Yeah. But I think with all of that, I've realized that um, I can't just like casually drink. And I'm realizing now that I've never been able to. But yeah, I, and at my birthday, you broke your foot. That's what I'm saying. Damn. Like, I always go way too hard. And it's not like a like a flex, like, oh, my God, I love partying. It's like I literally have no control over fucking, <laughs> like, drinking. Like, it's but bad. But I will it's say bad. you do it innocently. <clears throat> like, the things that you yeah, do yeah, yeah. aren't, like, you're, you do it innocently. Like, when you broke your foot, you actually were just walking out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, like, that I. That is still one of the funniest things to me because this bitch was so mad that I didn't catch her fall as I was getting in the wrong Uber. Like, that is still going to be a classic. Yeah, like you could have. Like you were literally like 30 feet away. I don't know why I was like, why didn't you help me? Like you were like, I, what do you mean? I was like half a football field away from you. Like I can't just like stretch my arm all the way over there. I really, I want to know if any of your coworkers know how you like broke your fucking bum. Yeah, I don't know. Like I think what happened. Well, this is, I actually know what happened. I was in the bathroom and I was peeing. And then I like got, I like washed my hands and I was leaving. And like the way that the door like swung out was like in the way of people. And mm. so I didn't want to like open the door too wide to like hit anybody. So when I was opening the door, I like did it really slowly. And then after I realized like, okay, I'm good. I like slammed it shut oh. because I was like, I was like, oh, we're good. But I didn't let go of the door. So I <laughs> shut the my hand in the door and then i pulled my hand out and i was like "Ooh, that's gonna hurt like, tomorrow don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody no don't tell and anybody. like because like you know in the moment like i think especially like even when you like hit your foot on something weird you're like at first it doesn't hurt at all it's yeah. like you're like what the fuck oh my god yeah. and then you know it's slowly like starting to hurt and i definitely like jammed my fingers but honestly that was like your anxiety being like exactly like it, it's just like all of that but i've realized now that like and we've kind of like not really drank at all this whole year. I mean, no, we're just like, that's not kind of like our vibe anymore. Like we met because of alcohol, if we're being yes. honest, you know, in like party culture. But like it's become so not a part of my life that like I don't really think I care to drink anymore. No, like even <laughs> like, I mean, OK, I've gone to like dinner and like with friends and stuff. And, and then they're like, oh, are you going to get a drink? And I'm like. I, I guess because I feel like that's it, what I'm supposed to exactly, do it's so but, like normalized. I don't and I'm like I don't even really want this yeah I don't know no I actually made a TikTok about this yesterday and like I was talking you know to the camera like somebody who's mentally unwell mm -hmm. it's like it, uh, that's another thing that's weird I feel like it's so strange that we just talk to our phones and then we're like like we're talking to other people but we're just talking to yourself it's weird anyways but I made this video I posted it and essentially it was like how normal it is to drink, especially at the age that we are in every situation when you're social. Mm -hmm. And like for somebody who like I don't have like a great relationship with alcohol because clearly I can't I can't stop. Like that's the bad part. It's like people <laughs> I'm can, laughing because of the dumb shit, not because of the problem. Yeah, because it's like people can can easily just like have like a glass of wine and call it a night. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like I've never been able to even like. I don't know about you, but I started drinking fairly young, like 16, 17, probably. Yeah, probably around there. And I think the reason is, is because like when I started drinking then, it was like we're drinking to get fucked up mm -hmm. because like we can only drink on these days when we're like at the cool person's house and like the party. And it's like you once know a I mean? month or yeah, like, yeah, 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 and yeah. It's like you're hiding it. And so it's like since then that like weird binge drinking thing has well, like also, sticked with Honestly, me. it's almost like, you know, when, when you we're a kid too and you're at home mom and dad never let you have a like candy or like really it, yeah, like touch totally, cookies totally. and stuff and then like you go to the party like your aunt's house and they have like a whole tray of cookies and you're candy like, till you're sick yes and that's exactly how i feel like it is then because like mm -hmm. true when we go out it's very like since we don't do it often Once in a blue moon. might as well go yeah might as well go and that's the hard part about it too like yeah to get a drink or like have something casual i can do it 
I just don't even understand the point of it though. That's how I am. Like I don't like doing it, and so like I'd rather just not have one a drink at all. Yeah, or I'd rather get fucked up. And that's how I am. It's just so bad. Yeah, it is. And like that's how I am. I'm the same way. And like I've actually talked to like my therapist about this, and she's like, "Yeah, that's alcoholism." And I was like, "Oh, I just thought it was being fun, but." <laughs> Thanks for rating on my parade. I'm on team having fun. Yeah. I don't know. Whoa. Vibe killer. You're killing my vibe. But but yeah, so I don't know. Like I think me going out the other day and like realizing like I can't just fucking casually do this. Like I just need to not. I yeah. need to I well, need honestly, to fi- have fun without having to be drunk. Right. Well, that's even like okay, so my parents are coming down for Christmas and like in Nashville there's so many cool like Christmassy things to do, like Christmas bars. But the thing is again, it's all drinking. everything is drinking. Yeah. And that doesn't matter what city you go to, it's, no, totally. it's everywhere. And it's like okay, which is fine. Right. But like my parents don't even really drink that much anymore. Mm-hmm. Like they do. My dad enjoys like a nice glass of like bourbon or he makes his like Manhattans or whatever, but like besides that it kind of like stops there right so it's like okay and then it's like every night right now i have a bar planned for us to go to so it's like a different christmas bar but i'm like yeah it's kind of boring like, and in my opinion i'm like that's right like, it's fun like one night maybe twice yeah because my sister and her husband are gonna come then it's fun to go out with them and then it's like yeah i think uh, I've re- i think i've also realized too like when i go out i don't like it so that's another reason I drink so much to like mm. almost like compensate for the fact that I'm not enjoying the atmosphere. You know, I, there's this girl, <laughs> one of the bartenders at Whiskey Row. She always does like a live stream on her TikTok, mm. and she like she always like I don't know if anyone has seen her. She holds like four or five beers oh, in her the, hand with yeah, the yeah, six yeah, beers, yeah, yeah. and she like taps them off or like whatever takes the the caps, caps off, off yeah. really fast. And she always live streams at night. And like last night, she was like on tiktok live and i was like scrolling past it was so dead everyone in her comments was like that looks so boring but i'm like all those people like they're like every single person that was there was trying to make it be like the most fun night of their life yeah but it was also like so dead and i've realized that yes like i guess it's like the past like year since like we don't drink a lot so Mm -hmm. it's like in my mind it's gonna be how i was when i was going out when i was 22 23 and it was like that's all we did right so of course every single weekend was like crazy the best night of my life but now like when we go out it seems to me like it's so dead it's so boring i'm like what are you like it's like fake fun like you're in yes that's another like my whole point to me being like i don't really need to drink anymore is because like I'm drinking to compensate for the fact that the situation is not one that I like to be in. Yes. Like, I don't have fun going to these bars. The only part about going out that I ever liked in the first place is dancing. And half the places here play shit music. So, so it's you like, can't even dance. Exactly. So, like, I don't know. Like, honestly, I would rather. I love. And I've, I've honestly always been this way. Even, like, when I was. Before I was even 21. Like sorry mom I had a fake but yeah like (laughs) I didn't even really like going to clubs because I'm like unless I'm like dancing my face off exactly I don't like it yeah I would rather go to like a bar and sit and be with people that like I enjoy being with and just like yeah have a drink or two and talk and like there I'm okay but then if it exceeds that then I'm like then that's when I feel like I have to be like blacked out because like i don't i'm not having fun no i enjoy like a dinner out i enjoy like yeah whatever but even i mean to be honest like last night now granted i've been i feel like i've been on my deathbed for two weeks yeah emily was also hung over so like last night we just both like literally chilled at our own houses right like whatever but it's like yeah saturday night and we were just like yeah like i will say too like i think another reason why i'm just kind of done drinking like i i don't think it needs to be a part of my life a because i got some issues clearly with it and b like it's such a waste of my time the day after because Mm -hmm. yesterday was a day that i could have done so much shit yeah and i have so much shit to get done i physically couldn't do it like i was laying in bed for like eight hours before going to sleep like (laughs) you know what i mean like it was just such a waste of my time and waste of my day and i was like this is just not worth it. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely not worth it when I fucking smash my hand in a door, embarrass myself, and then sleep all day. Like, I don't know. And I think it's just hard because the way that society is kind of like puts drinking at like the top of a social pedestal. And it's hard to like. Well, like not drugs do and it. alcohol are seem to be like fun. Like, that is and the normal. epitome of yeah. fun. 
where it's like but also so we've, we've mentioned this before but like even for us like we're trying we we work all the time like we're trying yeah. to grow this we're trying to like do new things be creative like we always t- to be honest like doing a podcast filming for youtube like it takes a lot out of you like it is a lot right. of energy given so it's like we need that energy to do what we like to do which is completely fine yeah but it's like that's where drinking can't come in because yeah. like you said it wastes your it wastes your time and it, it, it really is just like a time filler yeah we're like um like you now are training to do a marathon yeah you literally cannot waste a day Mm-mm. without training and so i did i wasted the whole day yesterday right and it's i even was like supposed for me, to have a 12 mile run what <laughs> when i do that no when i was like training before my surgery and everything like i just didn't want to drink because i was like i would rather go to the gym like that was more important to me which yeah is a different addiction don't get me wrong yeah but like it yeah it takes away from things that are actually productive yeah no, don't get me wrong have i drank a lot more probably in the past 13 weeks yes because i have nothing else to do and like, right but that's also my other be- friends my other friends are like oh right. when they go get dinner that's and how drinks on a wednesday night which is yeah. fine and like i'm cool or like let's go do taco tuesday well yeah we're gonna get a margarita mm-hmm. and it's cool i enjoy that because i enjoy spending that time with them but it's also like that's all you do yeah i yeah and i think another big part of it is like the guilt and like the peer pressure part of it where it's like I don't know if you've ever felt this way, but like when you're going out with a friend or something to dinner and they order a drink and you're like, I don't think I'm going to have any. And they're like, oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Just have one. It will be like, it's fine. Just have a drink. And like, I feel like I have to come up with some weird excuse like, oh, well, I got to run in the morning or, oh, I don't want to spend the money. When in reality, it's like, I don't want to drink. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the only excuse I have. So I think which is really cool. And I don't know if any bars here have it, um, but some of the bars back where I'm from it's a lot of like little micro breweries. Mm-hmm. So they all also make like their own kombucha and have like mm. other things on tap that are like teas and stuff, but they put them in the same glass as you would so get. So it's still like that vibe. Yes. So that's the thing. And like, I know that like some places in like LA and stuff like do it too. Cause it's like, you know, that's mm-hmm. the vibes. But like, I always enjoyed that because I was like, I'd have a beer or whatever, like whatever we were like at, if we're like at a brewery, of course we're drinking beer. So you have that. And then it's like, I don't really want another one. Yeah. But everyone else is still drinking. I would always get like a kombucha and just like have that. And then no one's going to question you because you have a drink in your hand. Like, yeah, you still feel like you're a part of, which is so sad because it's like a FOMO thing for what? It but literally, it's like, yeah. But like it, no one's going to question you. You're not going to have anything. And it's like, and like, oh, yeah, and I'm fine. I'm actually like feel kind of good. And I just like, I don't know. I wonder if like more places would start adapting that because I honestly feel like more people are out more outspoken now about not drinking. Yeah. And like, um, Actually, I was watching a show last night, Winter House, if anybody watches dumb stuff like that. But the one guy, Carl, he doesn't drink and his girlfriend also doesn't now drink because of him. Mm -hmm. And like they had one night where they just like made mocktails for the house. Yeah. I love making those, by the way. I do them often for myself. But like two, it's like, oh, more places should have options like that. Yeah. I, I not just so like too. a virgin Shirley Dacker yeah, or like, whatever they are. Exactly. Like I don't want like the virgin sweet ass no. tea, whatever, or like lemonade with the blueberry. Like that's not what I want. No. Like I want something that still has like an elevated like adult feel. feel. Yeah. But like I also don't want to be at dinner and order a Diet Coke and yes. then everybody else is drinking red wine and like giving me shit for it. Right. Honestly, like I make... um like virgin mojitos all the time at my house because mm. i'm just like this is fun and yeah it, and like i drink water a lot so like to me it's like something at night that's Switches like different it but it's like i'm not drinking because i don't really want i hate drinking by myself as well like i can't just like grab a glass of wine yeah. like, that's weird to me um no shame if you do it i just to yeah me i just feel like that will create a problem i just don't need to have yeah. so i'm not gonna start it yeah um but yeah so i make like little mocktails and i feel like bars honestly should start at least having one or two like mocked as literally would cost you no more ingredients. Yeah. And honestly, because you could use like soda water, tonic water, yeah. all the other ingredients you already have on bar. Right. Like, and honestly, sweeteners. like charge the same amount. I don't even fucking care. Yeah. I'll pay the, the cost of the cocktail, but like I just don't need the alcohol. But also, and I also think it's like, and it's a society thing, like the questions that you get from people it's when so you annoying. order the diet Coke or yeah. you do something different. So it's like kind of, again, like, stupid that you have to feel like a part of but like to still feel a part of yeah and i feel like for a lot of people who do have like do actually have like alcoholism and have been to rehabs and all kind of stuff like it would make them maybe feel more included within 
their friend groups and stuff. Yeah, and not have to, like, avoid the situation, like, entirely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And, like, also, like, I, like, my whole family is very, like, the way they socialize is through, like, eating and drinking. And so, like, that's also, like, a hard conversation that I've been having with my parents for, like, the past couple of years because, like, drinking for them is so normal and regular. So, like, when I don't drink, they're almost like, oh, come on, like, you it's not a big deal like whatever and i'm like okay well for you it's not but for me like i can't i can't do it like and also like i don't get I'm not any s- joy out of it like nothing nothing happens yeah like, i'm just sitting at my house on the couch i get nothing from well, having and that's a what white I, claw or right whatever right and like that's what i told them too i'm like i would rather just like not because like also i've always used alcohol as like a weird well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to get fucked up. Right. So, like, when I'm – if I ever do drink around my family, it's like, oh, like, I'll have a whole bottle of wine. And then I'm doing karaoke. And, like, it's like a <laughs> – it's like this weird, like, performative, mm-hmm. like – and I am I just don't need it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, all this to say, like, I think we've all grown up in a world that normalizes alcoholism and, like, drug use so much and almost, like, glorifies it. And it's like if you're not doing it, you're a loser, you're lame, like – your your 20s are so short you should just have fun and it's like but that's not fun for me no (laughs) what's fun for me is like working and doing things yeah i actually enjoy doing and like waking up feeling okay to like go about my day and like also to be like to be honest like the past 13 weeks of my life i've been super lazy so like yeah adding that on to it and i feel like would only put me yeah in a spiral totally and also like alcohol is like a depressant mm-hmm. so if you are somebody who's like neurodivergent or you have depression or anxiety like that makes it worse and so for me the effects the next day are so bad mm-hmm. because it's like extra of what i'm already fucking dealing with like yeah like i was texting kellen yesterday and it was like almost nighttime and i was like i'm having such bad like anxiety from just like thinking about the stuff I did she was like like what and I'm like I don't even know but like I know it was bad (laughs) and it's just like stuff like that I'm like this isn't worth it this feeling sucks yeah I hate it (laughs) no for real for real so I don't know interesting we had no plans to talk about that but I think that it's important to like kind of talk about in like real time too yeah like I know we've talked about it before and like how we just don't drink often but I just don't think it's as normalized as yeah and also like, like when we started this thing we were we were heavy drinkers we were weekend drinkers mm-hmm. for sure and we were like partiers like that was what yeah. we did and like honestly like when we first started this that was kind of like our branding we have fucking white claws in our first video that we made because it was <laughs> so part of our life yeah then. and now that it's not uh i think it's just interesting that like in that short amount of time we've kind of like completely flipped our like what's important in our life yeah and that ain't it yeah no (laughs) that ain't it anyway so yesterday one of my best friends from home she posted on her um like private story on instagram and she was asking if when you were younger have you ever or like i mean i would do it now if i had to like have you ever borrowed a friend's pair of underwear Mm. like you're down bad you had to borrow underwear i I don't (laughs) maybe once but i don't i honestly think i haven't besides maybe one friend ever and it was like my best friend and it was like a, a sleepover at her house or something right but I think besides that one time, I don't think I ever have. I've worn, I borrowed my mom's underwear like a million times. Like when I go home and like oh, I forget yeah. to pack or something. Oh yeah. Like maybe my, my sister share underwear. Yeah. But like not a friend. I don't think. No, I've definitely shared with friends. Really? No. Cause so she put this poll on there and I said, yes. And then when I did, like when I pressed yes, of course, like the poll came up and it was like 80, like 7% of the people said no. And her boyfriend was like, you're absolutely disgusting that you've ever borrowed a friend, like pair of your friend's underwear she's like well they're clean like yeah like they're washed yeah they're washed like they're clean whatever and he's like but that's gross and i was like i literally went upstairs and i took a picture of three different pairs of underwear that aren't mine that i Mm. borrowed from people i was like no i for sure done this yeah and everyone was just coming at her like she literally got so many dms from people being like you are disgusting see i don't think that it's gross i just think 
it's almost like the opposite. Like I would be embarrassed to ask somebody because I don't want them to think I'm gross for like using their shit. Cause I feel like they would be like, Oh, you can so just keep it. I know that I've been <laughs> in like situations where it's like, okay, of course, like not now. Cause like also right now in my life, I just be like, fuck it. I'm not still wearing underwear. Like I just wouldn't really yeah. care in any circumstance. I just be like, Man, I don't really care. Right. But definitely like high school. Kellen was like, I need underwear on. Like that's when I definitely borrowed it was that's like in high school. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm not saying that this is like an every weekend occurrence, yeah. but it's just like whatever. And I know there's been like a time where we were just like, <laughs> quirky let's like jump in the pool with our clothes on and oh, then it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. then i'm like fuck i don't have underwear what am i gonna do right and then i just like would borrow their underwear yeah or like do just dumb shit like yeah i don't know like not that you pissed your pants but, but okay so let's say you were in the opposite so like somebody asked to borrow your underwear are you going through your drawer and you're like you know what i mean like you're not telling them to go pick it out. You're going to pick out. 100%. I'm going pair. through. Yeah. I'm giving you're like, you a wait, pair. Oh, no, don't look at those. Whoa. Don't look at the crotch at those. Yeah. You that cannot. Stains. That is period. Yeah. But then also, this is the hard part about it is you have to give them a nice pair. Exactly. So you're getting in underwear is fucking expensive. Yes. You have to give them a nice pair. It's because tough. you can't give them a period pair. And right. You can't give them. But then it's also like. I almost feel that way about socks, though, too. Like when people ask to borrow my socks, like I would never give you these socks to wear. Because these socks are like stained weird. <laughs> They're gross looking. Like I'm going to give you my crispiest pair of socks. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if it becomes like me and you, a guy wouldn't really yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. But it's like also because the other part of it is you know you're not getting that pair of underwear back. Yeah. You're just not. Yeah. And you're also not getting those socks back. You know what? I was thinking about that the other day, but not like underwear, but like clothes. Because like whenever I would borrow like a friend's t-shirt or sweatshirt or something, I would always be like, give me the one that you don't you don't care about like yeah. whatever but they would always give me one that like i knew was their favorite and it's like okay appreciate it <laughs> so we're that close <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 yeah. but in my head i feel like i would do the same thing like i'm like i'm not gonna give you like my shittiest thing i'm gonna give you like my nicest thing i mean okay when it comes to like a sweatshirt i'm not giving you my favorite sweatshirt right i'm giving you one that's probably in the back of the closet yeah sorry about it under because that's not as gross yeah underwear a bra socks like those are like intimate things that's like understandable if you have to borrow yeah especially like if you go visit somebody at like their house like i don't know if your friend came for the weekend and yeah she's like either a can i do laundry or b like i need to borrow underwear you're gonna let her yeah exactly sorry i'm gonna let you do it also like i'm gonna give you the nicest pair yeah it's gonna hurt my heart but I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. And then I want you to keep them. Right. I never want those back. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's just like, that is just like weird. Like we're not like passing around these underwears. We like indirectly touched vagines. Yeah, which is fine. And we already knew it. <laughs> but like, I don't need it back. Right. Also, also, do you give them a thong? Do you give them the option between a thong or like bikinis? Always a thong. Unless it's the nighttime. Like if they need like underwear to sleep in. I'm not going to offer them a thong because I don't sleep in a thong. But a I lot do. of see, yeah, I don't because I think it's uncomfy. I sleep in like granny pants. Like I got, I got some high waisted like <laughs> full butt coverage underwear. That I have I sleep like in. okay, I either sleep with yeah a thong or no underwear. Those yeah. are the two options. No, I, I'm like even like when I've had guys over like after we after I wear like my sexy underwear before sex mm-hmm. afterwards. No, the granny panties come on and it's always like what are what are these. <laughs> He said, I'm comfy. And I was like, the fuck? You already got you already got what you came here for, so let me be comfortable. Okay? Like, <laughs> like I was uncomfortable for like five minutes. So. Yeah. Oh, you thought this lacy ass crotchless thong is what I'm sleeping in? No, you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's why I didn't know. Okay, so that was our other argument then because she said how she's borrowed thongs and then her boyfriend was like, that is gross. But I don't think it's that gross. I think it's gross for boys because they don't properly fucking wipe their ass or like wash their clothing. So True. it's probably like for us, I'm like, that's not gross because like it's been in the wash. Like, yeah, it's clean. But I'm not going to give you my dirty ass butt crust thong. <laughs> no. No, oh my god. No one needs that. No one needs that. No, but I, last night she said it and I like sent her pictures. I was like, yeah, these are literally these not aren't under mine. These aren't mine. And I was like, I was like, so you could tell him that it's like a thing. And she's yeah. like, you were one of the only people who was like, yeah, I've ever done this. I've and I was done like, it. I said either yeah, yeah, yeah. either you're lying yeah, yeah, or yeah. you're a man. Yeah. Those are the only two options. Mm-hmm. Or you're just always commando gross how are you gonna go commando in jeans girl most people who are commando do it in jeans no 
you will you will not catch my fucking labias hitting that but some people don't have like the little Audi like you and I. Oh. <laughs> Hate to out myself and yourself, but <laughs> some people's vaginas are fully inside. I under I mean, But for I, me, it would be so uncomfortable. Like I, mean, I would probably get is, like a rash. The thing is like I understand <laughs> yeah, that like yeah. we're not all the same down there. Yeah. But also in my head I'm like, but <laughs> Right. But like that would not be comfortable because it would go between the little notch in the jeans is right also, there. Also the way that I clean myself, it would just be gross in my jeans. You know what I mean? The discharge. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's the other thing. That is the one. Because I, I don't wash my jeans every time I wear them. So that like, is the only I reason wear. I ever wear underwear is because of discharge. Because I'm like, that, yeah, I don't want it like in my pants. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I just feel like very weird about that. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I really only don't wear underwear if I'm at home. Like it's commando. Right. I'm not at home because I'm in a robe. Right. That's it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 okay. A couple other things I got going on here. All right. Number one, I told this to Emily yesterday and she kind of thought this was gross. So again, I mentioned this already. I've been sick, very sick, and I haven't really been eating. Okay. Not at all because oh God, don't want I don't know what you're going to talk about. And I told her that my first meal back, the first thing that I craved back was Subway. And she thought that that was weird. Because also, I just don't trust half of your fast food opinions because you're the type of person who like judges people who eat fast food and then goes to Arby's. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, like you're you're the worst type of person because no. you pick you you said mm, fast food's gross, but I pick Arby's, <laughs> bitch. So a roast beef sandwich kind of hits. It never <laughs> hits. Yes, it does. It never hits. Yes, it does. Want. Have you ever had the Arby sauce? No, with the, I don't. With eat the horseradish. Arby. No, oh, that's good. I'm sure it's. Actually, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure it's good. But I'm 100% sure it's good. The Arby's sauce? I just can't believe, first, first meal back, you're like, mm, I just want something handcrafted from a sandwich artist at Subway. <laughs> Yuck. Re- but remember when, remember when the world was shoving Jared from Subway down our I throats? Know. Every commercial had fucking Jared on it. Like, everybody. Their marketing team was crazy. Everybody was, like, marketed Subway as this place. It's like, eat here and you'll lose weight. And then you go. And it's, like, foot-long sandwich for $5. <laughs> it's, like, the math is not mathing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love. What do you get? I like the mayonnaise there. What do you <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Tell me you're white without telling me you're white. I love mayonnaise. I love the mayonnaise. <laughs> I do love mayo. I, I love. I'm a whore for mayo. Same. It's it's delicious. And people who are scared of mayonnaise, just try it. It'll it's change so, your life. It's a game changer. It's so good. Oh it makes God. every sandwich. No sandwich is creamy. better without it. Is what I'll say. No. It's always better with it on there. No. I, yeah. Also, I can't have cheese. So to me, that is it like, like fills that void. Yeah. yeah. It's like that creamy like. What do you what get? You, it? What, you what do you get? So I got a foot long on wheat bread. Okay. Okay. I got it cut. <laughs> I was going to go through the whole process. I got ham. Mm. I had a major mental debate. If I want a ham or turkey, I went for the ham. Then I got lettuce, tomatoes, onions, banana peppers, pickles, cucumbers, and extra mayonnaise. She said, is that enough? I said, put more on. Where they like smack the bottle. Yes. No. But what I hate is when they just do it on the fucking tip of the top. Mm. I want it the whole way through. Whenever I used to eat I it. I want it to the bottom of the mm. sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I used to eat at Subway, like, that was, like, a big thing when I was, a, like, dancing. Because when we go to competitions, like, they would, like, get that for us to eat. Like, it was easy. I would always get the... Uh, chipotle Ooh, aioli or whatever yeah, that one's good that's too. what i would always get that on is it. good too but i just like a good creamy mayo yeah that's all i was craving i didn't care about the rest of it i was just like i want can mayonnaise. you just uh squirt that right <laughs> in my mouth theirs just tastes different yeah it's almost like when you go to chipotle and get the sour cream it's just different than if you get the mm. sour cream somewhere else the chipotle sour cream is actually runny which is interesting. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. It's just like, it's like a thing where it's just different. I don't know yeah. if people know that the mayo at Subway is different. <laughs> I don't think people really eat there anymore. <laughs> like, I think that that's Honestly, just you it was real. crowded though. Okay, when I got in there, I was trying. How that. many women were in there? 
<laughs> it's like a man's restaurant for sure. Uh, two men walked out as I was going in. Mm. There was a guy sitting in the corner and then a girl was ordering before me and then mm. it was me. Yeah. Um, but the lady ordering before me, I was, tr- she was getting, um, her sandwich was $17. For one Subway sandwich, she, did she get sides or anything? She get, or she got, chips and a drink? No. She got every meat. Every meat. I watched what? it. What? She got every meat. And her <laughs> the lady who was making In it. In this economy? I know. Jeez. The lady who was making it, I ain't here to judge either. She said, she said, oh, you like meat. That's what the, the little lady who was making it. She was like, you like the meat? She goes, it's for my husband. I said, oh, sure. Geez. Sure. Sure. It is. She was like, a little bit more of that have you ever gone through a fast food place and like you ordered like two meals oh, for yeah. yourself i did that yesterday. and you're like uh sorry hold on let me see what my boyfriend wants and then you like wink to the <laughs> fake camera that's not actually in your car but you think somebody's <laughs> recording you're like no i was gonna tell you the story he'll next. have the kids meal i was gonna tell you the story next because i did that yesterday oh okay but then this lady she was dressed as a christmas elf but it was like the worst kind she had like a weird dress on the shoes she had on were candy canes with like oh they like flipped up like that yeah and they had like sparkles on them mm. she had like some weird she was like, like the gaudy christmas <clears throat> elf. it wasn't cute and i was trying to take a picture of her oh that's n- <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> for you <laughs> You're like, Emily loves being mean to people. She'll appreciate this. <laughs> I was like, oh my. I was like, and the way she talked to was like so theatrical. Uh, she acted like she was I, an elf there. Yeah, I don't really like people like that. No, I know. You know what's actually funny is, so back to my Christmas party real quick. Uh, at the end, they were kind of like giving speeches and like talking about like doing awards and stuff. And I was like nominated. The Dundies? Yeah, I was like nominated for an award, but didn't win it. Um, Ooh, what was the nomination? Uh, it was like our core values, and so it was like one of our core values. But I don't remember which one it was. Uh, oh, be an awesome teammate, being an awesome teammate. Well, you didn't win because no, 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 no. I didn't win because I didn't get enough. Like it's like depends on who submits it, and oh. so like two people submitted for somebody else, and I only got one for whatever. I didn't think I was gonna get any because. I don't really like ever go into the office like you know what I mean like and my role is so niche like I don't really work with a bunch of people but the way that people were passing the mic and hyping me up just about like they're like she's the most positive happy-go-lucky person she's always smiling she's always bubbly she's making everybody laugh and in my head I was like am I really like masking my true self that hard I was gonna say y'all come talk to me (laughs) <laughs> y'all can come I talk was just to like, me like everybody was saying that and i was like what because i don't feel like i'm like that <laughs> at the office but like when they were saying that i was like oh no i'm not really like that in real life <laughs> <laughs> you said no nope, that's a fake that's fake that's my customer service voice <laughs> kicking in because like what the hell they're like yeah we love how smiley and bubbly and always positive you are and i was like Y'all got the wrong bitch. (laughs) Like, I don't think... Okay, but appreciate it. (laughs) (laughs) But I appreciate it. Okay, so going back to your thing about ordering two things at the good drive-thru. So yesterday, I really just wanted a Diet Coke from McDonald's. And... It's kind of awkward to just get a soda at a restaurant. Yeah, so then I kind of have to like, oh, you have to get like fries. Yeah. Or you gotta get like a little something else. Especially yeah. when you go through the drive-thru. I just feel like it's a weird thing, you know? Yeah, they're like, you came all the way this way for a dollar soda. Yeah, and I did. Yeah. But then I ended up getting a burger. But anyway, so the other thing... I was thinking, so first, I have two stories here. One, I I did the thing where, because they have slushies now at McDonald's. They now yeah. sell slushies. So I got a small slushie and I was acting like I got it for like a kid that I was like taking home because I was like, in my mind, that's like what I was doing. Right. Like, but like, it was fully for me. Right. Like, I definitely got myself the blue raspberry slushie. Wait, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he'll have a blue raspberry, a slush. small blue raspberry slush. Thanks. Yeah. Like, I was like, you have that. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, he'll be happy. Yeah. I'm like, Apparently <laughs> he's asking like for a blue. Do you guys have a blue raspberry? I was like, you guys don't sell slushies here, do you? Yeah. I told him it's McDonald's. But <laughs> he insisted. He said he saw the sign on the interstate. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know what he's talking Weird. about. I was, I was 49. Too, I was I too busy. I was too busy focusing on the road. Yeah. No, I literally was like, I acted completely like that slushie wasn't for me <laughs> as I gulped that <laughs> shit down. So good. I love it. I love a slushie. I like a also, Coke Icy a lot. They have them. They have I the know, Coke. I saw that. They have the strawberry Fanta and the blue raspberry Fanta. Mm. Obviously, they're just, you know, normal fucking shit. But 
It's just been feeling good on the throat recently. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of wanted it. But I definitely full on acted like it was not for me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to say it. But the other thing about McDonald's is they need to bring back the Crispy Ranch snack wraps. I'm kind of pissed about it. That was my go-to thing because that was the perfect thing to order when you got like a Diet Coke. Not that I was like really into that. But it was like... like, Always was like two dollars. Well, also a little easy thing to yeah. eat, a little nice little snack yeah. at two o'clock when I snack ordered wrap. this. It was perfect. Yeah, and also it was a great like uh, after school snack. Yeah, where it's like before dinner or before your like uh, activity after school, like whether it was like a sport or whatever. It was like a great thing to get, and it like was different than anything else on the fucking menu. Yes. And that's what I hate about McDonald's is like you have to choose between a burger or chicken, and it's yes. like. I don't want that. And then they're like, the snack wrap was like, yeah, it's chicken, but it's also like in a tortilla. It's just different. It has it has ranch on it. Yeah. It has cheese. It has lettuce. It's got tomatoes. It got it all. No, that's been like a huge, like, I'm pissed everybody about Everybody in America has been like, why when don't When they have took that? that off the yeah. menu, I was appalled because I was like, I never go to McDonald's again. Yeah. And then I like Diet Coke and now I go to McDonald's again. But that was my thing because also I never felt like that bad about eating it. Mm-hmm. Like you didn't feel like you were really eating McDonald's when yeah. you got the snack wrap. And it also, like you said, like it was like a perfect like after school snack, but it could also be dinner. You could get three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, totally. No. And I was actually watching a uh, like Keith from the Try Guys. He did it. Uh, eat the menu Mm -hmm. video like a couple weeks ago and it was for like del taco which like i've never been to one before i think it's like a west coast thing Uh uh-huh but uh they have like a crispy chicken ranch taco (gasps) and he literally was like if you miss a snack wrap this tastes exactly like that that." sounds so so if anybody wants like a snack wrap but you can't get one apparently the del taco crispy ranch taco is that that sounds like the same thing it's like a fried chicken strip with lettuce and uh ranch that sounds good mm-hmm. yo it's so fucked up honestly i think mcdonald's you're gonna steal our fucking theme song you're not even gonna give us a sponsorship for oh it. yeah i was like and, what are you talking about and, and i was like oh yeah gonna take away the crispy fucking snack wrap yeah Pissed. also also i don't know okay so i grew up like my dad was um like he did marketing for food service stuff and like uh restaurants basically and so like they were always working with people like mcdonald's or taco bell or whatever coming up with like new product ideas Mm -hmm. and when i was little i thought i had the best idea ever for a menu item at mcdonald's and it's so stupid like thinking about it now because i used to always do this with my fucking burger and i was like you guys could make so much money like you should take this (laughs) to them and my dad was like okay sure like (laughs) dumbest idea but it was you would get a happy meal (laughs) It was called the birthday burger. And so whenever it was your birthday, you would get this for free. And it would be a cheeseburger with French fries on the top, like candles on a cake. And each fry would be dipped in ketchup to look like flames. (laughs) (laughs) And I would, I showed my dad, I was like, tell me this is an a million dollar idea. He was like, yeah, it's a good idea. He said it's actually... A one dollar. But you had to pick like you had to pick specific fries because some of their fries are too floppy so they won't stand up in the burger. So you'd have to get like the crunchy little short ones. The one at the bottom. That are like pointy as fuck. Yeah. And then like you would put them in there and you dip them in ketchup and it was a birthday burger. Yeah, that would be a terrible (laughs) idea. Number one, how do you wrap it? They're already slow. Around oh, here, yeah. they're already slow. That would Could take you way imagine, too long. though, being an employee and they're like, all right, guys. We're rolling out the right, birthday guys, burger. <laughs> cor- corporate just told us a new menu item, so I need everybody to learn how to make this. And they see the like the prototype of it and they're like, I am not getting paid enough to stick fucking french fries and ketchup into a burger for a fucking little <laughs> eight-year-old's birthday <laughs> for free. For free. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. But yeah, so anybody looking for somebody to work in um, product development let me know because i have amazing ideas <laughs> <laughs> the birthday burger <laughs> i present to you the birthday burger <laughs> okay my last thing doesn't have to do with food okay one, one topic i'm but that's, starving now. that is all i thought that's all i thought about this my week. stomach just growls that's all i thought about this week i thought it was a plane <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because like i couldn't eat anything and i didn't really have the appetite to so yeah like, i started to come around i was like i want all these things yeah okay but the fact that I got to sit at home a lot this week, do absolutely nothing. I sat on TikTok a little bit more than normal. Mm. Okay. I don't know why. I haven't seen tarot card readers on my TikTok for you page in months. 
in months. I haven't so either, then, actually. So then when I see one come around, it's like I'm all like, you see. I'm like, oh, you're, you're like, right. it's meant to be. Yeah, right, right, right. That's right, what right, I'm right. like. That's what I'm right, like. Right, right, right. It okay, is okay. meant to be because I'm like, that's how I feel about like horoscope shit because yeah. I never see it anymore. So like, my friend like sent me one the other day and she was like, dude, watch the Libra one. And I was like, that's so, so me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's how I feel. So when I see a random one come along, I'm like, it's the universe sending telling me signs. <laughs> so after I saw that one, and then they also say, they being the all the people of tarot card TikTok, right. say that if you see the same message multiple times, it most likely is meant for you. Right. Also, that's part universe, like whatever. If you interact with this post three times, your wish <laughs> will come true. <laughs> so listen, I keep seeing that I'm going to receive a message in December and it's going to be like, it's like an offer, but like a part of the message is like an offer. Mm. So it's like, I don't know. I've seen some of them about love where it's like a love offer. Some of them have been like a work offer, which makes sense. Yeah. But like, also it's like, I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little like, okay, it is now December 11th. What is When's it coming? Hello. TikTok on the clock, bitch. Yeah. Like, what's going on? What's the message? What's the 411 universe? What are you telling me? Mm-hmm. So now I've been trying to like, this is the worst part about tarot cards, but like the best part about it is like, I love when like you like have that, especially when they're pulled for you. But it's also kind of like, like everything. I'm like, is that the message? Yeah. Cause it almost like, sign? it almost like builds up this like really big expectation. Like when we got our tarot cards read, like, months ago yeah one of the things she told me was like you're gonna come across a big sum of money and i'm like <laughs> i could use that right about now yeah. honey. the money still's not here still waiting on that universe uh actually the money is in the negatives at this point so i could really <laughs> really really benefit <laughs> from it i don't know tell me when it's coming i don't know maybe i think that we need to get them done again maybe not by this by that person yeah I think we just need to like go to somebody else actually there is one girl who my friend is she's a psychic and um does tarot and she did hers and it's she was wildly accurate mm. and she, apparently she's a zoom call so maybe we should just like oh yeah we should do her. that we yeah. should do that for a youtube video uh if she's cool with being recorded well at least her voice yeah that'd be fun yeah but i think oh my god i was like i need to do this again mm-hmm. i need to know what's going on in my world because right now i feel so just like it's almost like i like I'm it here. but i also don't because then i'm always waiting for the things to happen you know right. what i mean where the, if the you, hard part about that though is is it's not really relative to time right so yes you feel as though it's going to be like tomorrow when she tells you but it could be yeah well some of the things she did say were like in two months that never happened just saying yeah you're supposed to go to I'm supposed to go to vegas i'm supposed to win big <laughs> bitch we never left we're losing we never <laughs> left nashville and we're definitely taking l's left and right so. <laughs> no so i just kind of want to throw that out there and if i do get a big message or a life-changing thing that happens you heard it here first i want to share it with you guys <laughs> yeah i'm like a little concerned because it's like to the point where it's like every single tarot card reader and it's not specifically love because like i feel like that happens like it's so sad yeah to love. it's not specifically love it just keeps saying that i'm gonna get like a message slash an offer mm. and i'm like well that's what you're looking for what could is it a job is it yeah. love is it money i don't know yeah who knows so maybe maybe you guys will find out with me yeah maybe we won't. but well, anyway i just want to end it on that i thought that might be kind of fun yeah i think we should go get our cards pulled again it's gonna be fun. I love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. Well, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little <laughs> weird episode that we have going on. Random of course, episode. Of course, we have like holiday episodes coming up for you guys yeah. within the holiday season. I hope as you know, the holiday season's rolling around for you guys that like all your parties are fun, you get all your Christmas shopping done, that you're enjoying time with your friends and family. Um, and you stay healthy because yes. everybody's been getting sick. So be taking that emergency and be washing your dirty ass hands. Clearly, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm on antibiotics and I have shots in my ass. So, hey, who's winning? There we go. Me. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for listening to another episode of Society 97. I'm Kellen. You can find me at Kellen on Instagram. And I'm Emily. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Starnzy. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Instagram as well. We're at Society97.pod on the gram. We're also on TikTok at Society97pod where we post videos every single day. 
And make sure you guys check out our YouTube channel where we post vlogs and the guide videos every Tuesday. And then we do the video version of the podcast every single Friday. And we'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.